Welcome back to News 360. Now time for our mission segment. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union. And on a good note this evening, mission continues to achieve results in the Bungo district of the Upper East region. In October last year, when the team first visited the area, open defecation was a challenge that the Assembly was battling with. By May, the Assembly was almost through with some sanitary facilities to end the menace. Here's a report by Bright Nana Amfo. If you provide this KVIP to you, the people will stop open defecation. They will stop rushing to the, the farmlands to do it. This was a groundbreaking ceremony. A poor flash toilet was to be built for Zoko, one of the communities in the district. Open defecation was common. This old one, it is, it is the estate where nobody wants to use it because it is not being taken care of, it is spoiled, and the place doesn't look nice at all. Residents had no place of convenience, and so did it anywhere. This was an old toilet facility. It was an eyesore. The health of the people was at risk. The assembly acted. Executing this project, so within, within three months, we have a toilet facility in the Zoko market. This was in January 2017. The assembly member for the Zoko electoral area was happy the project has come at the right time. We are so grateful and we want to pledge that this facility, if put, we utilize it judiciously and we'll make sure that we also help in maintaining it as well. The assembly did not stop there. Several other KVIPs and poor flash toilets were handed over to contractors. By May 2018, some of the facilities were at completion stages. At Bongo Soy Market, another poor flash toilet was awarded to a contractor and was at an advanced stage. Market women, community members and visitors who have come to the area will use the facility. The Bongo district became fifth during the 2017 leak. Um, table displayed by UNICEF and we think that fifth is not an aviable position. We want to climb to the top. So we are doing everything possible including a relaunch of an of a open defecation campaign we did some time ago so that we involve the chiefs, the unit committee members, other opinion leaders, the market women, the youth groups so that everybody would know that we want to end open defecation. This is the old toilet. The new toilet facility is mechanized to ensure regular supply of water. The assembly says six more of these poor flash toilets will soon be opened to stop open defecation. Authorities of the Bongo district say health is key to speeding up development. Well, certainly good news there. Let's now turn to education. As pupils of Kasingo Basic School in the Bongo district of the Upper East region are in a difficulty. Inadequate classrooms is impacting negatively on teaching and learning. Bright Nana Amphil reports the Assembly is appealing to individuals and philanthropists to help put a structure up for the school. <laughs> The school is deprived. It has only two blocks for the primary. Junior high school one to three sits under trees. The privation is all over. <laughs> Several children are disadvantaged. Results show average performance, but inadequate infrastructure is hampering efforts of teachers. We have only two uh, blocks, and these blocks were meant for only primary, before the, the other GHS. And the GHS, at, from one to three, no classrooms. So we sit in the trees. So it's only from three, they are inside, because... You see that they need help. So we put them inside the class so that we can help them, push them to go and ride the BC. Kasingo is a farming community and incomes are low. 
This is what they have put up to be used by the junior high school. It started four years ago. This is what their incomes can provide. The assembly and the education directorate are aware of the poor situation of the school. Most of the time you see animals around who will just be fighting and be making noise, disturbing the class. The members also in the community will be riding motorbikes around and be a little distraction. It will just, I mean, distract the whole class and then attention will not be there. The Kasingo Basic School has enough teachers, but classrooms are inadequate. Though ready to give off their best, teachers are challenged. We don't seem to get any answers to what we, I mean, we complain about. But sometimes the community members would want to help. We have been complaining most of the time and then we don't get any better response to our complaints. In fact, junior high school two pupils had demonstrated over inadequate classrooms just before the last basic education certificate examination. I was teaching uh, mathematics and I don't know, some boys were making noise at the back so I tried to find out why they were making noise and they were complaining of the weather. So I said, oh, but this has been our situation so they should just, that, no, 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 they cannot continue. They've even heard the form trace will be moving to Bongo to write their final exam. So I should stop teaching. They will not learn again. They are going to the headmaster. The assembly says it is unable to raise funds immediately to put up structures. I'm sure you would have seen some schools that still sit under trees. Consumer is one. We are working assiduously to see how we can channel our resources into education. The money isn't there, and we don't know when the money will come. So what we ought to do is to work within our local resources. That is why we need to improve upon our IGF. We need to task the people. We need to call on our citizens, those Bongo people who are outside, to come to our aid. The Bongo district is also striving at getting furniture to fix the over 6,000 deficit schools in the district are faced with. The assembly is appealing for support to improve education. Just moving like this, it doesn't come down. Very good. That is a, a very good suggestion. So now and that's how we wrap up our mission segment this evening. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with support from UK Aid, Danida and the European Union.